We have a question from Andrew. Andrew asks, my question is about the mountain climbing program. I ran through the whole program this past spring, partly because quarantine limited my equipment to what I had available, which oddly worked perfect for the program, and as preparation for trips to the Adirondack high peaks in the early summer. First, I love the program. Thank you very much. It worked really well, and though I try to keep in good shape year-round, the trips up and down the high peaks were less fatiguing than in the past. Hey, good. So, to the question. The template of the program seems inclusive. That's an interesting phrase. I know the program itself goes for a limited period of time, but could the template be used year-round? For example, replacing the long walks with mountain biking in the summer and ski touring in the winter. Well, yeah, sure. Uh, first off, folks, it's a program I wrote for one of the editors of Men's Health. Uh, in fact, I'm really kind of proud of the program because uh, I love solving problems. That's my favorite thing to do. Uh, I, it really is. I, I like it a lot. And the situation was they, the person was invited to climb Mount Kilimanjaro uh, in six weeks, and they weren't ready, and they said, help me out. So I put together a program that included... Uh, Loaded carries, rucking, walking, uh, basic mobility, very simple stuff, and some some basic training. Very simple, very doable. Uh, the focus was an intelligent finish, uh, and every single person who's followed the program has come away surprised at how everything just builds up simply on each other. And when you're, it's Maybe, maybe, again, it's probably not a perfect program. Somebody else could do a lot better job, but it works really well. I've got a lot of great feedback. Andrew, I've got to tell you, um, yeah, I think it's a great idea. Um, you're probably in the winter going to have to have a, a bit of a mix of things. Um, you could certainly, if you can walk, I mean, here even in Utah on the worst days, we can still get a walk in, even though it's, it can be slushy and slippery. Um, so keep, you know, for the ski touring kind of stuff, yeah, no problem at all. Just remember, it's a lot easier to walk out your house with a backpack than it is to load up all the gear and go to the place where you can go do the ski tour, load up your bike, go to the place you can mountain bike, unless this is right outside your door. Uh, so just, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, in fact, I, I'm kind of looking forward to you uh, keeping tabs on this for me because I think, I mean, maybe you've dis discovered something interesting. Uh, maybe some variation in the movements will be appropriate. Uh, at the top of my head, I don't, I don't know what would be a good variation, uh, depending on your equipment you have and what you know, but throw in, you know, throw in some additional changes in the weightlifting for sure. Uh, great question and good luck to you, Andrew.